Hey everybody, it's Justin here to review The Fall on Our Stars. But before we get started with the review, I would like to say that I'm reviewing this movie with Page by Page, a great YouTuber. She does book reviews, book vlogs, and stuff like that. I'll put the link down below for her channel. Definitely go over to her channel, check her out, subscribe, tell her Justin sent you. I really enjoy her channel. I've been watching her videos uh, since she's been putting them out, and I really like her videos. So w both of us will be giving our thoughts on The Fall on Our Stars. You know, usually when I do collab videos, I do the video first, and then uh, the next person will be giving their thoughts. But uh, today, Paige will be giving her review on The Fault in Our Stars first, because ladies first. So Paige, what were your thoughts on The Fault in Our Stars? Hello everyone, my name is Paige from Page by Page, and if you like reading, come check me out because I do vlogs about books and I do book reviews and all that fun stuff. But today I'm here on Justin's channel to review the Fault in Our Stars because it was a book first before it was a movie. So I just briefly want to talk about it for those who have not read the book and then talk a little bit about the book and movie tie-in and what I thought. So in case you don't know what the plot is about, it is from the point of view of Hazel Grace Lancaster, a 16 year old who is dealing with cancer. Her parents just want her to try to be normal and they take her to support groups and stuff like that and through the support group she meets Augustus Waters. Basically it is about two teenagers with cancer, um, one in remission and one dealing with it currently. So it deals with the teenage angst of love as well as coping with cancer and how that affects their lives on a daily basis. So just a note to the wise before you go and see this movie to bring at least one napkin depending upon what type of crier you are because even if you're not a crier, even if you are a human being, you will at least shed one lone tear so you will need to pat that tear away or if you're a more serious crier, bring a box. John Green knows how to make your feels feel and the director did an amazing job of interpreting the book into a movie so maybe it is just happy tears and you don't know so you are going to have to watch it to figure out. So let's talk about the actors. First, Shanley Woodley plays the main protagonist, Hazel Grace Lancaster, and just from the trailer I knew that she was going to be the perfect choice. Her emotions are real and not faked, and there's just no one that I could picture better for Hazel. In regards to Augustus, the male love interest, I wasn't quite sure how I felt about him. He just wasn't the person who I was picturing in the trailer. I didn't really get to see a lot of reactions and clips with him in, but in this movie I was so pleasantly surprised. He fit the character to a T and both Shailene and Ansel's chemistry together were just amazing. They have the type of chemistry that I think is really rare in movies in the fact of they off balance to each other in a way and so that just made them really more realistic to their characters. Um, but their connections and the way they play off of each other was just you can't fake something like that. And the whole cast is amazing. Even the actors who play Hazel's mom and dad were just very on point with everything, their emotions at the time, and how I think parents would kind of really feel in that scenario. And then you had Nat Wolf who plays Isaac who's kind of their mutual friend and the comic relief throughout this movie, which is great because we need comic relief and he was the perfect person to do it. So even if you have not read the book, you will highly enjoy this movie. I can almost guarantee it. For those of you who have read the books and are anticipating watching the movie, you guys will also not be disappointed at all. The scenes are just as you picture them in the book, and then in certain scenes, the lines are taken word for word out of that certain scene, and so it's really nice to see a very true adaptation from book to movie. The amount of effort that the production staff and the actors and everyone involved in making the movie made to make sure that this is a true adaptation, and then that little things like the cannula, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the oxygen that goes into the nose, you know, that was in every scene, and they didn't try to Hollywood glamorize it, and I liked the fact that there was those struggles, because 
while they make it known in the book too, sometimes in the book it's forgotten and I felt that in the movie was the constant reminder of everything that Hazel and Augustus are going through. So that is it. I hope you liked what I had to say and I hope that you like the film if you have not seen it already. Thank you Page by Page for doing this collab video with me. I was so excited to put this video out and I'm looking forward to doing some more collab videos in the future. So The Fall on the Stars is a really great book. I enjoyed reading it. I just finished it right before the movie came out and I was really excited to see this movie because I already knew how it was going to be. Uh, I was, knew it was going to be a sad movie and I just wasn't able to handle it. But you know, some book, book to movie adaptations, some of them are good, some of them are hit and miss, some of them are really great, and this one I thought was really great. The characters of Hazel and Augustus were played so perfectly, uh, that's how I imagine them to be. Uh, Shane Lee Woodley and the guy who played Gus Waters played the part so perfectly and gave these such emotional roles, especially towards the end, and it was just so emotional for me. I teared up a few times in the movie, I will admit. But it's because of how real the performance from Shane Lee Woodley was and the guy who played Augustus Waters. The performances were just really great, emotional, raw, and you just felt like it was a real love story. This movie can be a, looked at it like a cliche movie, but I think it avoids all of that. It uh, jumps right into uh, the girl having cancer. It doesn't give you any background, like some background, but it doesn't have the beginning of the movie where she's normal and then she has cancer but it just jumps right into the movie of it being cancer but some of the cliche moments you know like oh I'm madly in love with you but it works so well of how they approach that it's just not that cheesy classic cliche love story it's like this real version of it and it's how everything is and not every not every love story is perfect there are these two people that are in love and they have cancer and they how the story is brought to you and it, it's the structure is that it's not that cliche love story and there are things that get in the way of a love. There were a few times where I felt like the story was a little bit rushed in the movie compared to the book uh, when she meets Augustus Waters. I felt like that was a little bit rushed and their trip was a little bit rushed as well but overall I thought the movie for the length I think a little bit like two hours was really great. Uh, they had a lot of detail in the book, uh, in the movie from the book, like little certain lines that I really appreciate. So if you guys really enjoyed the book, I think you guys will enjoy the movie. Um, a lot of scenes made me cry. Also, I personally have anxiety attacks when it when it deals with cancer or health issues. So I had an anxiety attack in the movie theater, but uh, I got over that quickly. But um, the movie compared to the book is really well done. The characters are great. Um, Augusta's friend, he was really funny in the movie, so there, there was a lot of great humor, um, really great story, this love story that wasn't cliche at all, and I just really enjoyed this movie, so I'm going to go ahead and give it an A, I think, uh, The Fault in Our Stars, for, um, you know, minus the few rushed moments, um, overall the movie was very beautiful, uh, the acting was really great and very emotional, especially at the end, and you get a, get a feel of how actually they were in love because how great the performance was so this is just watching movies and page by page giving you guys our thoughts on the fault in our stars we both really like the movie and the book so i hope everybody's liked the video comment down below and tell me your thoughts on the film if you guys have seen it or not also remember to go to the page by page uh, channel and subscribe to her i'll put the link down below um, and tell her that justin sent you so this is just watch movies please don't forget to subscribe comment and I'll see you later. Bye.